Comic Collector Live presents Super Mega Comic Action News at Midnight! Hello again, fellow citizens. It is I, Steve, with another amazing episode of Super Mega Comic Action News at Midnight. And I have another comic pick of the week for you. I got it right here in my hand. Ta-da! It is Deadpool vs. Thanos number one by Marvel. Today's CCO comic pick of the week is Deadpool vs. Thanos number one, published by Marvel Comics. It was written by Tim Seeley with artwork by Elbow Bondock. So what's the Marvel Universe's most inventive mercenary to do when the threat of death suddenly has no meaning? That's the question that faces Deadpool as he teams up with the Marvel Universe's most inventive mass murderer, Thanos, to figure out exactly why no one can die and who kidnapped Mistress Death. But if anyone's ever seen any old Popeye cartoons where Bluto and Popeye had to team up to rescue Olive, you know it probably isn't going to go as smoothly as hope. A few things you'll find in this book include a guest appearance by your second favorite voodoo-powered third stringer, Black Talon, lots of Say Anything references, and Dr. Doom shot in the chest with a shotgun. Besides the standard Deadpool stick of blood and obligatory references to killing and otherwise maiming people, there's a few real moments of concern as to death safety, especially from Deadpool. I suppose there's some sympathy coming from the Mad Titan Thanos as well, seeing as how he restores Deadpool back from a literal bloody puddle of goo after he realizes he might need his help. So it's kind of like Lethal Weapon meets Enemy Mine, with a smidgen of Marvel team-up thrown in. Honestly, at this point, can we just let Deadpool headline a new official Marvel team-up title now? Oh, hey, uh, Tim Seeley does a really nice job with the writing chore on this book, uh, although I was hoping to see a little bit more of an emphasis on Thanos, but hey, he's got three more issues to uh, bring it up to speed and uh, get equal amount of time to Deadpool and Thanos. Also, the flashback scene at the beginning was a little bit confusing at first. Kind of made sense as the story went on, but I think you could have done kind of without it. Uh, Elmo Bondock's artwork was pretty good. Uh, when I first glanced at the book, I wasn't so sure how it would be, but it ended up being really, really good good fit well with the story and the last page of this book oh, it's so good uh, so yeah my recommendation is if you want a really good Deadpool story that just looks like a lot of fun this is the book Deadpool versus Thanos number one by Marvel Comics and you can get this book along with hundreds of thousands of other awesome comic books on comiccollectorlive.com you can also catalog and collect your favorite comic books with their awesome software product you can also do action figures trading cards statues busts you name it our software can catalog it. Anyway, and if you liked this news program, you should subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us on Super Mega Comic Action News at Midnight. We'll be back with more awesome comic news and reviews. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time, okay? Huzzah!